The soaring voice which captivated music fans across the world has been snuffed out. Whitney Houston is dead at 48. Her death comes in Los Angeles on the eve of music's biggest night, the Grammy Awards. Her body was found at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in the city. Her mentor, record mogul Carl Davis, was holding an annual pre-event party at which the singer was due to perform. It's understood the showpiece ceremony will go ahead and include tributes to the pop diva. There were no obvious signs of a, any criminal intent at this time, and it's currently being investigated by the Beverly Hills Police detectives. Shocked and stunned, fans and friends have been paying tribute to the star whose career had reached stellar heights, but whose personal life had been dogged by substance abuse in the last decade. Speechless. It's, um, my hero's gone. Oh, my God. I, I don't really have words. I mean, she was a huge part of me growing up. Like, you know, I loved her music. It was so emotional, so soulful. And I just hope that, you know, she's in a better place. And I... It is songs like this, the soundtrack from the film The Bodyguard, which helped make her one of the most celebrated female singers of all time. Her background was in gospel music, inspired by soul singers, including her mother, Sissy, and godmother, Aretha Franklin. She had launched a comeback tour three years ago, and last year had enrolled in a drug and rehab program. Whitney Houston was a winner of six Grammy Awards. Once again, in her death, she will dominate the showpiece event in Los Angeles, where she died.